right, hey everybody, another episode of Nerds Drink Whiskey. Uh, so, uh, this time I'm providing the whiskey. I think last, uh, last month uh, Jeff here provided the, all the whiskey. But uh, this is something uh, I got as a present uh, a little while ago, and I believe for my wife mm -hmm. uh, for some uh, Christmas. Yep. Yeah. So this is still Christmas whiskey we're drinking. But uh, this is uh, one that I saw at uh, the store. Uh, a few months ago, probably beginning of winter, and uh, it had kind of a, a interesting bottle, kind of an interesting name. Usually when they put that much into the marketing and packaging, uh, it usually means that it's going to be kind of crappy. We can all remember Angel's Envy. And uh, so I figured, yeah, you know, this, this might be kind of interesting to see. Maybe it might be something that's crappy enough for us to uh, have fun making fun of. So. Uh, and sometimes the, the crappy whiskeys are actually a more entertaining episode. So, but anyways, uh, that's this month's uh, Monkey Shoulder. And, uh, and this is a scotch, right? Yeah, this is a scotch. Uh, we got, uh, let's see, uh, batch 27. Um, I really don't care about the batch numbers. Um, yeah, let's... 43 alcohol by volume, so that means uh, 86. 86. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, let's 86 this uh, out of our glasses. That was an interesting range of flavors. Indeed. Um,. A little, more, a little more mild for uh, a little more mild for 86 proof than I would expect. Yeah, it yeah. went down pretty good. Yeah, I mean that's mm -hmm. that was a very gentle. Yeah, I mean I expected it to have just and it has a nice kick at the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, but it's not overpowering. It's got a nice mouth feel to it. Yeah, um, yeah, it starts very gentle and kind of goes out with a bam. Yeah. So uh, it's a quick finish, but it's a good finish. Mm -hmm. So for for what we pay, for what you pay for it, I can't remember what the exact price was, but it's it's kind of a, a lower end at the 30s. Yeah, in the 30s, uh, we'll we'll post the exact price uh, down uh, at the bottom of the screen as usual. But uh, for the price, I'd say uh, this is yeah. this is not a bad scotch. I'm yeah. kind of impressed. Let's see a second swig. So, and apparently, uh, monkey shoulder is kind of like tennis elbow. It's an injury that people would get from hand turning the mash when they were making the malt for the whiskey. They would call it, call it mon monkey shoulder is what you got when from hand turning all the mash. Nice little, scene. Yeah. nice little piece of trivia there. Cool, cool. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, uh, the history and the political history of alcohol uh, I've always found fascinating, like you know, mm -hmm. prohibition. What caused prohibition? What caused prohibition to finally end? What you know, yeah. um, you know, and all that, and, and and how it ties in with all the a whole bunch of other political things within our history. And um, I don't know. There's there's some some great books on on. I think there was one actually called Prohibition that I read recently, and I'll, I'll post the title down below. But uh, it was it was really uh, had a really great uh, explanation of how how that uh, was intertwined with uh, the suffrage movement, mm -hmm. and and so it, it I don't know I, I found I find stuff like that very, I get very nerdy when it comes to history sometimes so yeah well you are a nerd Mark aren't we all mm -hmm. I've heard rumors yeah. yeah so are they just rumors at this point though. Some people can confirm them. I don't know. Comment below. Um, <laughs> so uh, uh, I'd say I'd say I'd say uh, thumbs up on this one. What do you think? Um, it's a little more char than I think I would prefer. Okay. Uh, it's fine, um, but it, it kind of like yeah hits you with more burnt oak flavor. Okay. Than I would mm, like. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's okay. Yeah, I like it. But. Yeah, I think this has got a pretty good little bit of a spicy little kick to it. Uh, uh, I If I was to give it on kind of a rating system, I'd probably give it four shots out of five. This is actually pretty damn good. Four shots? Okay. All right. Um, I, I'd say three and a half. 
Yeah, I'm about there. Mm. All right. Okay. Uh, so uh, on the nerdy side, hmm. what do you guys think of the Last Jedi? Uh, shouldn't there will be more, right? There's more movies. Yeah. So you'd but, think there'd be more Jedi. Well, so uh, I can't remember who, where I came across this this uh, uh, guess. But um, the guess that I heard, and, and there was a, there was an original source for it. And I know that my wife kind of uh, uh, went off, riffed off of, off of this a little bit. Uh, but there's, uh, say hypothetically, let's say the last Jedi, who is Luke. Mm -hmm. Let's say Luke Skywalker dies in the next one. Mm -hmm. But Ray, before he dies, he trains Ray. That kind of goes along with what Disney is, is has shown they want to do with these movies. They kind of want to rehash, but kind of create a little bit of new as well. Right. So, so if the last, if Luke is the last Jedi, and he dies, but before he dies, he trains the next last Jedi. Then she is still the. Both of them are the last Jedi, and the name works. But you still have a Jedi for that third movie. Yeah. Yes, uh, that would work. That would keep it title um although if they're gonna stick with rehashing the originals he doesn't die until the third movie because yoda was still alive at the end of empire and i think they're trying but to find ways to true. put a new twist to it so that right. people like me don't bitch about it being just a rehash of, of empire where where force awakens was basically just a rehash it was a reboot of a new hope right um uh so maybe that's their way of kind of okay well if we if we mix it up a little bit or maybe rush the mm -hmm. rehashes a little bit. Maybe by the third movie, we can have something completely new and original. Yeah, if they only um, do, like, so the first one was pretty much a complete redo of the first movie, and then the second one, they'd stray a little bit more, but still stick to a lot of the same themes, and then they can yeah. branch out even more in the third one. Yeah. That'd be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I was always thinking, The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and then he goes and takes another nap or something, you know, and then he finally gets to work. So like, yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and then he goes and does something. And, and of course, there's always uh, the General Organa uh, yeah. issue, and we, we have to, I'm so worried about how they're going to handle that. So Well, they've um, said they don't want to... CGI. CGI it. Yeah, so, so they got to... So, so if Luke dies, that's the thing, is if Luke dies... Now they're out of two original. iconic. I mean, two of the original three main characters that, that have to die. Well, but I don't see if they're not. I don't think that they're going to have Leia die on screen because she finished all of her filming right. for the next for episode eight. Yeah, and so she won't be a nine, but she won't be an on screen thing. Yeah. So if they're if their plan is to have Luke not make it to movie nine. Then I mean, Leia will still be alive at the end of the movie. Yeah, yeah. Which... So, but I, I, I kind of doubt they're gonna kill him off just because they already killed off one major character, and now it's kind of, that that would be repeating themselves. Yeah. So, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And how will we have what? Will, what will they do with Chewbacca without Han Solo? That you know, that, I mean, mm -hmm. that, that seems cause, to cause be according the, to the question. According to the according to. Uh, most of what I know about Chewbacca is he had a lifetime contract to to basically be by Han's side until death. So now that Han has died, he can go back to his family, and and that's kind of the 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 uh, the protocol according to his his people is mm -hmm. to go back to his people now. Right. Although, so, so you know, Disney's throwing out a bunch of the. The old canon, right? Yeah. In yeah. Books, yeah. The all the books are thrown out. If but they're stuck with what's in the movies, and in the movies, Chewbacca helped Yoda f start the rebellion. Yep. So if he's helping the rebellion, he'll stick around and help the whatever they call themselves now. Yeah. The the the, the yeah. So. uh down below in the comments, you tell us what you think of the title Last Jedi, uh, what that possibly hints at, what uh, should happen because of that. Um, just go nuts in the comments. Let us know what you think. And uh, we'll see you back for another episode of Nerds Drink Whiskey.